that you are listening to 87.1 Caroline Radio, KCGN Bakersfield, and of course, Blind Advocate Radio. Welcome back, listener. How are you? I'm glad you had a good week. My name is Aaron Richmond. This is Aaron's Opinion, the podcast for blind people, where we talk about issues in the blindness community. As I say on every episode, we you can listen to us right here um, on the radio or basically wherever you get the podcast, almost everywhere you get the podcast, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Patreon. We're back with um, Chris Benedict. Chris, just before I push the record button, you said that you had something that you meant to tell us yesterday. So why don't we get into it? What What do you want to tell us? From yesterday. Sure. Um, so I know that we have blind, mostly blind people that are blind on here. Um, but um, um, I do. I'm a um, representative for a company that helps people speak that are nonverbal. And mm. uh, and there are two ways that that we can do this. It's either by touch or by or eye tracking. And uh, and um the 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 one big difference between what we do and our competitors is our competitors, you need to buy the device and then you need to buy, you know, ions to make it work. Um, our, all we have is an iPad. And, and once you buy the iPad, that's all, that's all that you need. You don't need any other equipment. So that would make us really different than than our competitors, and 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 the company is and the and our company name is Cognition dot com, and our app is called Speak Probes. And it can be found on the on the Apple App Store, and it's a free download. And it, and then if you want to upgrade, that would cost money. But um, but yeah. Okay, so can you go into more detail, and tell our listener exactly what this software does? Can you describe it? Sure. Uh, I I will do my best. Um, so basically you are looking at a screen and, um, there are different tiles that, that, that have different words on it and you can tap or there's something called eye gaze that, that you can, um, that you can look at the screen and 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 you can either do a do a smirking smile, a blink, or a or, or a, a dwell when you just look on a tile, and it will trigger the word. And then um, then we do have sentence builders built into the app too. So if you want to get into a more lengthy conversation, you can do that too. So it sounds like this is basically an app that someone would use um, if they have a hard time, if they have a hard time speaking, if they need to uh, vote, speak to someone, right? Correct. Yeah. So I guess would the other person just look on the screen and see, or or would it be like a thing where like a a voice, like a computer yeah. voice, reads it? Yes, exactly. A, a, a computer voice would read it. Can you give us a demonstration? Uh, sure. Um, 
Uh, let, let me pull it up. Hang, sure. on, one, hang on one second. Sure thing. All right, so um, I got up here. Oh, wait, no, wait. I need to turn off, turn off my website. Okay. All right. So on the main screen, um, we got um just simple, simple um simple words. Let me. Thank. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then you get into it. Then you get into more in depth. So you can say, "Who are you?" And then uh, later. Who are you later? And then it was fidget for you. And then um, then you can customize. Um, do different things like DJ ability is in the house. So, so, so you, you can say you can program it to say different things, and then you can have it just trigger that either by touch or by sight. And and the maybe I already said this, but the big difference between our another big difference between uh, us and our competitors is that it, um it, um the camera that that, that tracks us is is mapping the whole face. Instead of just the eyes, so doing doing a lot more accurate, and we are one third the price of of other of other uh, of other uh, speaking speak generating devices. Well, that's excellent. Um, so would this work if like you're trying to communicate remotely with someone? I mean, I guess yeah. it kind of would, but is there that, what are, what are all of the features that this product can offer? Well, like I said, sending the builder, um, if you want to say one word at a time, you can do that. Um, um, then we didn't go, then we had something called the academy where, where you can just practice on a virtual, um, a virtual, um, um, oh, what is it called? A virtual assistant built into the phone. So you can have a virtual conversation with the phone just to get the hang of it. So, yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. And how did you find out about this company yourself? Well, um, they, they are based in San Barbara. So, um, so they actually found me because I was actually right by their office doing something else, and um, and they wrote me in, and and I love what they're doing. So I say sure. Hmm. Well, that's excellent. 
Yeah. Um, and now are you working for this company as a consultant or a representative? Yes. Okay. So I would imagine that you probably have some of some sort of a link that I could include in the description to obviously promote this company and to promote your, um, basically, do you have an affiliate link for this uh, company? Uh, yes, I do. Hmm. Well, if you give that to me, I'll put it in the description right, and then yeah. people can. So, um, and in general, what, what, what is the cost of this, uh, software? Um, you know what? I don't have the pricing sheet in front of me, but you know, it, it's that $4,000 for the iPad and software. And you know, and that cheap because most most big generating devices cost upwards of twenty or thirty thousand dollars. So no, mm. so, so it is drop in the budget. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I see. That is. That is interesting. So um, as a representative of, uh, of this company, what, what are your responsibilities and, and what do you do? Just sales, that's pretty much it. Um, All right. Just trying to get, get the software in your, in your people's hands and that can use it. Right. So your job is to find people who need the software and are willing to buy the package, basically. Pretty much. That my job. Yep. That's good. That's good. And how do you um how do you go about finding these people? Um well um well like like what I'm doing right now. Um, right. Or if I see someone on the street that 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 might be able to use my software or our software. Mm -hmm. um, I might go up and say, hey, my name is Chris. I'm with this company. Can I give you a quick demo? So, yeah. Right, right. Well, that's, that's excellent. That's really cool. So when people want a demonstration, what do you show them? So I'm showing, I'm showing them the app and I'm showing them how it works. And, and I have the tablet device on me at all times. So, so, um, so if I need to, I can, I can whip it right out and do a demo on the spot. So. Mm, good. Excellent. Um, so has anyone has anyone bought the software uh, on on the spot? How how does that work? Uh, not yet. Um, there's a process that you need to go through to, to do that. Um, so normally I get their contact information and I give it to the sales team and I let them run run with it. And then, then they do that to me, and then if I close the deal, there we go. Right, right. So you give the person's contact info back to the sales team, and then the sales team then follows up to try to, you know, make to try to make the sale and and to try to get them to buy the the software. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. And then if the person buys it, then you, you earn, do you, now do you earn some commission? Do you earn points? Is there a reward system? Um, How does... No, I, I really can't say. That is, um, that is, that is fine. Excellent. Okay. So really good software. Really, really good. Um, and that is, that is, that is totally fine. I think that's great to promote um, software uh, like, uh, like this. Um, cool. Okay. Yeah, mm. so if you want to switch gears, um, that, uh, we can talk about what we were originally going to talk about. Right, right. Okay, so um, 
last time we were speaking or at the end of our conversation in the previous episode, 